Florida residents returned to the familiar ritual of assessing hurricane damage Thursday, the day after Milton smashed through many coastal communities and spawned a barrage of tornadoes that killed at least five people less than two weeks after the misery wrought by Helene. The storm knocked out power to more than three million customers, flooded barrier islands, tore the roof off a baseball stadium and toppled a construction crane. But many people also expressed relief that Milton wasn't worse. The system spared Tampa a direct hit, and the lethal storm surge that scientists feared never materialized. The system tracked to the south in the final hours and made landfall late Wednesday as a Category 3 storm in Siesta Key, about 70 miles south of Tampa. Damage was widespread, and water levels may continue to rise for days, but Governor Ron DeSantis said it was not the worst-case scenario. The worst storm surge appeared to be in Sarasota County, where it was 8 to 10 feet lower than in the worst place during Helene. The storm also dumped up to 18 inches of rain in some areas, the governor said. Just inland from Tampa, the flooding in Plant City was absolutely staggering, according to city manager Bill McDaniel. Emergency crews rescued 35 people overnight, said McDaniel who estimated the city received 13.5 inches of rain. Hurricane Milton is barreling into the Atlantic Ocean after plowing into Florida as a Category 3 storm. It pounded cities with ferocious winds and rains, whipped up a barrage of tornadoes and caused at least four deaths. It compounded the misery wrought by Helene. But it spared Tampa a direct hit. Several trees were downed in the downtown area. Parts of Orlando were flooded in the early morning hours. Rescue crews were seen suiting up to enter flood waters. The storm tracked to the south in the final hours and made landfall Wednesday night in Siesta Key, about 70 miles south of Tampa. The situation in the Tampa area was still a major emergency as St. Petersburg recorded over 16 inches of rain. According to poweroutage.us, 
more than 3.2 million homes and businesses were without electricity. The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office said four people were killed in tornadoes that hit ahead of the storm.